how to get the waves. But hey, let's get to cooking. Oh, this is my first time making pozole. I had it at a friend's Halloween party. And now I'm going to try to recreate it for the series. I got some chicken thighs that I'm going to use, boneless, stainless chicken thighs. So, let's season these chicken thighs. We're going to season the chicken thigh with adobo saison, ground cumin, 21 seasoning, and Italian seasoning. I use Italian seasoning because it makes, in a lot of Mexican dishes, may be wrong here. Don't come after me. But it uses a lot of oregano, bay leaves, and like those really aromatic flavors. So, Italian season has all of those flavors, and plus some. So, I'm like, might as well just use that. So, you know, I'm using all of this meat because I don't really use chicken thighs like that, so I might as well use it. So I don't have to kind of use it again. I open up the chicken with one hand, so we're gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oh, hold up! I have some more seasonings we can add as well. I got some hot Mexican style chili powder, so we're gonna add that on there as well. So, I not a big fan of Mexican food. I'm gonna be real. Only thing I really like is tacos. And I like those once every like four months. I'm gonna be real. One, once every three. So I stay in Elgin where the Hispanic culture is a lot more vibrant. I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to like it a little bit better. Um, it's still not my favorite. Chinese will always forever have my heart. But it's up there. It's up there. Mountain of seasoning. So we're just gonna stir it up, mix it up. So chicken thighs, I will say, have more flavor and it's juicier than chicken breast. So it's gonna add a little more flavor, a little more juice to it. Look at that. Your chicken, not seasoned. Ooh, like that. I don't want, if I come over your house and your chicken isn't seasoned like that, we don't want it. Look at the skill, the skill. I'm gonna add about Four cloves, out, stuck myself. I'm gonna add about four cloves of garlic. So, what we usually, so a lot of people use for solar, they make their own broth and all of that, yada yada. What a lot of people like to do is make their own broth and yada 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 yada. Yeah, we're gonna do that too, but they like to boil it in water, and we're not gonna do that. That's not all the flavors. We're gonna boil it in the mixture of water and chicken broth because I'm different. So, uh, I'm, I'm different and I'm not Mexican. So I'm gonna make it my way. I see it, what's the point of copying them? Like, I don't like to copy recipes. I like to build. So like, my idea is you have a base recipe. So like, you just say a hamburger. You know the fundamentals of a hamburger. Meat, bur uh, meat, bun, and cheese. But then, what sets yourself as part is how do you add your own flair to it? What's your own flair? So, that's what I'm going to do. So it's chicken, chilies, and stuff, but I'm gonna add my own flair to it because, again, it's me, I'm different. Who gonna stop me? The oil gets hot, I'm not gonna keep washing my hands. I'm gonna throw in the chicken thighs. So, we're gonna let these cook, but I don't want them to cook fully because we're gonna boil them as well and they're gonna cook fully through there. I just wanna cook to add a little flavor to it. I like to do it I'm kind of seasoned and have a multi-layer multi layer of flavor can talk. So we're gonna add just two halves of a white onion.
two cloves, about four cloves of garlic, and I have to add it. I'm adding the oregano instead of bay leaves because that's all I have. So we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let it get boiled up. Tortillas, corn, obviously. So as the meat and broth, whatever is cooking, we're gonna do something else. So I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not, but when I had it at my friend's place, she had like rolled up tacos and that's what she used to like dip it in and eat it. So that's what we're going to make right now. So we're gonna add some cheese to it. I think that's about right. I'm gonna spread it to about two. So we're gonna roll it up. Right? Sure. Oh, this came unraveled. Dang. We're gonna make like quesadillas with it. So we're gonna get the cheese, throw it up in there. Bow. Hear me out. Then I'm gonna roll it up after it cooks. I didn't get good tortillas. I thought I did. I did not. Ah, shoot. It's okay. It's a life lesson we learned. Okay. Ah, oh, it's hot! Maybe I can turn the heat down a little bit so I won't burn myself. So we're definitely gonna take these off. It looks okay. Anything else cooked, might as well. Easy. Mm -hmm. oh, look at it. Cheese pool stuff. It's not bad though. The tortillas are low-key flavorful. I don't know why they were breaking it. <coughs> and we get our tops. Get our tops. Cut the top off and just pour the seeds out. And why? These ones smell hot. I literally open these up and I just, oh, I can just smell the heat. Oh my gosh. And they're not cutting. They're not cutting the seeds. So we're gonna get a knife. And uh, drop the seeds out that way because these are already spicy. And the ones I had weren't spicy at all. It's not that much. It's only one. Right, so my blender is broke. So I'm just gonna pour it all in here. Thank God I have a hand blender. We got it to the smooth consistency. Like almost a Better, probably better than the blender. What we're going to do is just shred up our chicken. Look how tender that is. All I need to do is just bow, just shred it up. So now, I'm going to add my ham, my white ham to it. I'm not going to add all of it. I'm going to add a decent amount to it. We're going to add the chicken back to it. Time to add the salsa to it. Stir it up. This is a lot. Put soul in it. We're gonna get a little bowl of it. A little bit of white onions to it. Cilantro. Some 
Look at how good that looks. This is my first time making it. All I had was I had it one time and I'm going off watching literally like three YouTube videos. No, not even that, TikTok videos. Oh my gosh. I can really cook. Like I can really cook. This is so good. I don't know. I can only go in off of one. I think mine's a little bit better than the one I had. A lot more flavorful. With the rolled up taco cheese thing. Dip it up in there. Look at that. I almost just, I almost just did a back flip. Hey, thank you guys again for watching all the way through and just watching it. Please like and subscribe and keep the vibes good and it keeps me better.